Hi, Dr. Torres over at Skin and Skin here doing another uh, liposuction case today. And we're having a good time in the operating room. The patient is awake, not feeling any pain. She's in zero pain right now. And uh, we're just working away on her stomach and the front part of her, uh, the entire, uh, right from, from the breast all the way down to the pubic bone. We're gonna keep her nice and flat. Alright, Dr. Torres again. We're about to start a fat transfer on this girl. And um, we've numbed her up, we've done her entire case already. And you can see how nice her waist came out. And so now we're just gonna give her projection. Definitely has a little bite to it, but she's got nitrous oxide. And I have numbed her up pretty decently, but still has a bite to it. All right, All right the first syringe off side. BBL of the day is done. She's uh, looking great. I'm just gonna glue these little incisions back here. And uh, the glue will just peel off on its own. And when it does, it'll be all healed. And then you can see on this side, got another little small incision. These things heal up really well. And it's just really small. And then the other ones I, I like to sew up. I put one single suture between, like this one right here is tiny little hole. This is the only hole on her, for her flanks. One single hole, I sculpted all of this, snatched her waist. She has one there, one on each shoulder, and I come down and do that part as well. But uh, not, a, not a, you know, you don't have to put a bunch of holes all over people to, to accomplish what we've accomplished here. Uh, we we uh, gave her lots of projection. She has a beautiful shape here. Um, one of the few girls that doesn't actually have hip dips. So all we had to do is give her projection and you can see the outcome is uh, pretty incredible, I must say. So let me suture this one here. And, uh, and then we are done. We'll get her in a compression garment she will go home, eat, drink fluids, relax today. She'll take a shower tomorrow, put her compression back on. She'll wear compression for about three weeks. She'll uh, do some manual uh, little vibratory massages, little dry brushing and things like that to prevent scarring and help uh, lymphatic flow return. And uh, she'll be uh, looking great. Looking, really looking forward to her pictures in, a, in about one month. We'll get some uh, great pictures. This uh, client is actually from not living here in town. So we'll uh, have her send us some nice little bikini shots in about a month. That's usually when people start looking really good. They look great in 10 days, but 
you know, they always look better in a month. So we'll share those with you. Just doing a little suturing here. This is the size of the hole. You can see it over here if you come over this way. That's the size of the hole. It's about three millimeters in length. And I put a single suture, just not very tight, just to approximate it. And she'll get these taken out in 10 days, 10 to 14 days. 